The Loch Goyne Covenanters Museum is based at Loch Goyne Farm on Eaglesham Moor, East Ayrshire. This was the family home of the Howies, who were tenants. Eventually the land here was given by Lord Rowan to the Loch Goyne and, and Fenwick Covenanters Trust. Loch Goyne lies in an isolated position on Eaglesham Moor, approached by a long narrow lane, which in times gone past was very treacherous if one strayed off the beaten track. Loch Goyne was raided by the King's troops on at least a dozen occasions. One occasion they arrived when the Covenanters were having a meeting within the house. Mrs. Howie was quick thinking, and she threw water onto the peat fire, producing so much smoke that the Covenanters were able to make their escape across the moors. When religious meetings, known as conventicles, were held out here on the moor by the Covenanter ministers who would exclude from their churches, the way to protect them was to put out pickets on the, on the nearby hill, such as the Tap. They would watch out for the approach of the King's troops. Loch Goyne Farm today is not the building that was there originally. It does, however, have some significant dates for the family over the door, with 1178, 1720 and 1810. On one occasion, the troops who came here took away all the cattle from the farm. They were taken to Dean Castle. However, the local laird ensured that the cattle were returned. He paid the fine, which was later repaid by the family. This engraving shows the Battle of Drum Clog, which took place nearby. On this occasion, the Covenanters were successful. The museum contains a number of items linked to this battle, such as the, the drum and the flag. There's also the killing sword, which belonged to Captain John Payton, who was on the Covenanters' side. A number of silver dollars were dug up near the Loch Goyne farm. These are thought to have been hidden by one of the Howie family when the King's troops were approaching. Dunton Cove near Waterside was a small cave in which Covenanters are said to have hidden. A, a bush was lured in front of it to provide it with camouflage. <laughs> 